Coggle brainstorming. Now we're going to look at how to use Coggle mind maps. This is video 5 of the Coggle tutorial. The link to the entire series is in the description below this video. Ok, so we're in the dashboard. Now it's time to get started. So I'm going to click on the create diagram button and watch what happens. First of all, you'll notice two things have appeared on the screen. We have a tip box that says work with others and we'll look at that in the next video. So for now, I'm going to click on hide for now. The next thing you'll notice is that we have a very handy list of shortcuts, which we'll also get into in a couple of videos. So let me click that off. And finally, we are at our dashboard with our first node. So let's click on that to edit the title and let's call this the plan. I'm going to hit enter and that snaps me out of edit mode. Now notice that if I click on the node, I can drag this from the corner and change the size and appearance of the node. Now watch this. I can click this little icon and access all these icons. So let's choose a snazzy icon. And let's go back to our node and notice that we don't see an image. That's because we are still in edit mode. If I click anywhere on the screen away from that node, that will snap me back out of edit mode. And now we can see the image of the icon. So very cool. Now I'm going to click on the node again and I'm going to make that smaller. I don't want it to be this big. OK, let's snap out. In fact, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. That's all good. Now you'll notice there are four points on this node. These are what Coggle calls multiple start points. If I hover my cursor over one of these points, you'll see that we get a plus sign. If I hit that, it creates a node. So let's call this one Monday. Now I'm going to do the same on another starting point and call this Tuesday. I'm going to do the same here and call this one Wednesday and the same here for Thursday. Now we need more nodes in order to complete our week plan. So what I'm going to do here is right click and select add branch from this wheel. That's going to give me an extra node, which I'm going to call Friday. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to right click and select add branch, call this Saturday. And once again, for Sunday. Now we need to arrange these days just to make our mind map more manageable and more readable. So I'm going to click on Monday and I'm going to hold my mouse and drag it. And then I'm going to let go. I'm going to move Tuesday here. Wednesday there. And you can see how easily I can do this. Oops, I'm choosing the wrong day there. Friday. And let's leave Saturday and Sunday there. In fact, no, let's let's put Saturday there. And Sunday there. Now I'm going to click on the desktop and move my mouse while holding it down in order to move the mind map. OK, I've let go now. I'm going to do the same again and just go up and down, left and right. So you can see that you can manage your workspace regardless of how big your mind map actually is. You can also click on the desktop and hold your cursor down and then go to the magnifying glass and watch what happens. I can click that and drag it and that makes it smaller and I can drag it the other way and that makes things bigger. OK, again, I want to click and drag the desktop just to adjust everything. So you have great control for managing your workspace. OK, so now I want to create a sub node of Monday. So let me click and drag this down a little bit here. I'm going to hover over Monday and you'll see the plus sign appear again. If I click on that, then that gives me a new branch, which I'm going to call AM. I could put a snazzy icon there, but I've shown you how to do that. So you can really dress up your mind map however you want. Now I want to create another sub node of Monday, which I will call PM. So I'm going to hover over AM. I'm not going to click this because if I do, this is what happens. It's going to create a sub node of AM, 
rather than a subnode of Monday. So this is wrong. We don't want this. So in order to delete this, we can hover over this node and hold down the control key if you're using Windows or the command key if you're using a Mac. And notice that the plus turns to a minus. Now just click the node and that deletes that node. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click back on the AM node to go into edit mode. This time I'm going to hold down the shift key and press return. And that's going to create a sub node. Now, when you're working in real time, you would create your AM node and then without snapping out of edit mode, you would just hit shift and return and create your sub node. So let me do that and let me demonstrate that with Tuesday. Here, I'm going to click this. I'm going to add AM, then I'm going to hold shift, return and then PM and enter. OK, so this is how we create sub nodes. Now, if I right click on this node, you'll see that we have a wheel with options. Some of these options are paid options, which you'll find in the Coggle Awesome Plan and the Coggle Organization. So for example, if I click on this color wheel here, you note that we can change this to a different color. But if we do so, it brings us to this upgrade prompt. But as I say, that's a paid feature. So let's click that off. Let's right click again. And you'll notice that you also have a choose shape. If you click on this, you'll note that there are different shapes. And if I click on the rhomboid, you'll see that this is also a paid feature, which gives you access to all the advanced flowchart shapes. OK, so let's click that off. And you can right click, of course, and explore this yourself. You can copy a branch. You can create another branch. You can comment on a branch and you can delete a branch. Now let's screw up our map. Let's say that I want to add a node before Tuesday. I'm going to hover over the Tuesday node and this time I'm going to hold down the shift key and then I'm going to press the node and this is going to insert a node before Tuesday. Now if I delete this, you'll see that it's made a mess of my mind map. Now I could just do control and Z and undo those changes, but I want to show you that in the shortcuts video. I just wanted to create the reason to show you the feature that I want to show you next. So here we can click on this icon at the very top and look at a history of the things we've been doing. This has been taking different snapshots at different points. So if I click on 10 minutes ago, this is what our mind map looked like 10 minutes ago. If I click on six minutes ago, you'll see what it looked like then. If I click on two minutes ago, that's exactly how we want it. Now here we have the ability to create a copy of this version. So I'm going to click on this and that's going to create a copy of our good mind map. OK, so let me hide that and let me hide that. And here we are. Now you can create a blueprint type of mind map if you like and just create copies of that to get a fast start if you need to create a new mind map that is very similar. Now to finish off, let's say that we want to make Sunday a day of rest. So we want to move it away into one of the other points on the plan. So what I'm going to do is right click on the Sunday node and go to this section that says drag to transplant branch. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to transplant it to this starting point. In fact, I don't like it there. So I'm going to right click again and I'm going to transplant it to this one. Pretty cool. Now you know how to do a ton of stuff with Coggle. In the next video, which you can see on the screen, we're going to cover sharing. So click the video and I'll see you there in a moment.